I've been wanting one of these. See you, See you later, Bobby. So a few years back after seeing those snow dogs and then finally getting a chance to actually ride one and see them up close, uh, I bought this a while back. It's through, uh, what is it, Northern Northern Tools, I um, forget what it's called, it's, uh, it's an Irontron motor, basically a Briggs and Stratton, 14 horse. I bought a centrifugal clutch with the drive belt for it. It's got a chain sprocket and I got the chain and the sprocket. But I've had this snowmobile track for a while now. And the way these run is they have this skid underneath them. And this is upside down of course, but it runs on that skid and uh, it has to have snow to lubricate the the track and that's why this one if you look it's pretty worn it's got some chips out of it you can tell it's been hot they were driving it without the enough snow so what I want to do is put roller wheels lift this up just a little bit and put roller wheels underneath it like so so it's not running directly on that skid because the neat thing about the snow dogs <coughs> is you can use them with snow or without snow you can run them in the summer if you wanted to which I don't really know why I would other than uh, maybe dragging in some bear bait or something like that one nice thing about having a video camera whether you're doing YouTube or just whatever now they're so common they're not the big suitcase things you had to carry on your shoulder that you know that, that we grew up with but uh, you can kind of take and look over this and film it as far as how it actually went together before you tore it apart because once it's torn apart it's going to be a jumbled up mess of parts and I'm not going to remember how they went together especially if I don't get back to this right away so it's pretty helpful whenever you're working on something like this or you're your truck or car or whatever take a lot of pictures and then you can kind of remember <laughs> remember what it's supposed to look like compared to what it looks like when you get done with it all right finally got all the bolts out of this thing I was able to get the drive sprockets out I think everything should be loose so Put this away here and yard it out of there.
Okay, good thing I took some pictures because this is a collection of parts. Well, really it's not too awful complicated. I think what I'm going to need to do though is shorten this track a little bit. I'm not positive how to do that exactly. And uh, I can say these runners, I'm guessing you can replace these, but see how badly cracked that is from being, uh, well, probably old, but also uh, being run with a lot of snow on them. So, if I can figure out a way to get rid of those and run it on wheels instead, it would be a lot better. So here is the start of the uh, track carriage. It's upside down right now. This thing here, it has the adjustment bar on it. Right here, you can adjust... Uh, the tension with this thing so I was able to rob that off of the old snowmobile frame but the way I have this figured instead of running on the track like it did before I'm gonna put bogey wheels that are off of this off these little inline roller skates I put enough of them on there I think it'll work well if not I'll get different wheels but anyway that's where I'm at so far so I'm gaining slowly, uh, trying to figure out this front end, the bearing is clear out to here, and on this side, this one had a, a bearing uh, retainer, I guess you'd call it, and it's clear out to here. My frame is way back there. Now I gotta figure out how to how to bring that out far enough to make this work. But that's about the way I want that to sit. If it was a little bit lower, it would even be better. Because one thing about this, the motor is gonna be high and it's pretty heavy. It'll be tippy if it's too high. So the closer I can keep that center of gravity down, the better off I'll be. That is the old track carriage there that just flat out wasn't going to work with those runners on it. So I am redesigning it completely and starting over with a whole whole new frame. Um, I'm hoping that I didn't make this a little bit too long to fit in the track. This one, it's designed completely different. Part of the tunnel for the snowmobile was part of the carriage also. Um, and I don't want it real high. I want it to be pretty low to the ground if I can. But I bolted this end on. So if I do need to shorten it, I can undo those bolts and cut it off and move it forward a little bit. Well, I got it on there. I did end up having to shorten it by probably an inch and a half uh, to get the tracks on. I got a little bit of adjustment left now, and I think that it's going to be just about right if I uh, once I put the wheels in there. This is sort of what I'm going on. Theirs are both there are two different track designs here. They're both similar, but uh, both a little bit different even than what I've got. Uh, what I have so far is I have this carriage that I made here that will have the rollers attached to it and it bolts up underneath there on that on this rail I had to do away with the whole frame of the other ones um, I went down to the recycle yard and I got some more rollers the spacing wasn't right so I had to cut the Cut the pipe and add in a little section on most of these um, to bring it out to the right width. This is the frame that came with the um, the first snowmobile that I had that I started to take apart. And like I said, it didn't have near enough rollers, so I went down and I got two more from the recycle yard. Um, some of these rollers, like this one here, let's see. Not that one. This one isn't really going to work. 
<laughs> but, and some of them are a one inch shaft where others are probably about a half inch shaft they're all metric so whatever that would be 13 millimeter or some such thing um, the way a snowmobile works is they they run on these runners here and I had to do away with that because half of the reason half of the reason for uh, having this thing is that you can go on bare dirt or snow and right now it's snowing it looks like it's going to put down some uh, earlier it was raining this morning and what happens is uh, you end up with a, a quarter mile or so stretch with no snow at all and just bare dirt and then you end up with a foot or more of snow again and the snowmobile I have it just doesn't work because of that and this thing with the rollers instead of that track I should be able to go on dirt or snow well if I can just make it work I <laughs> I'm gaining I think I can get it I hope <laughs>